Good morning, I'm Kimberly Jolly from Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube and we have lots of stuff to show you. I'm very excited to introduce the brand new Kaleidoscope Cross Stitches. They're gonna be part of Lori Holt's brand new book which is coming out next month. It has three quilts, six pillows, and two cross stitches. So the cross stitches are right here. The pink is warm and the blue is cool so those two will be in the book and if you look at the design really close you will see that there are three flosses used so she's got the one in the middle the center and the outside and we're going to have lots of options in the book so in the book this is going to be one photo well not one photo but lots of photos and this is another but in addition to that Lily's going to show you a little, some photos from the photo shoot. The first two are, so the first two are like how we styled it and you can see we're using her floss flowers and her scissors. So that's kind of how you could display it in your home. And then that one, if you see in the front, there's some floss keepers. So that's going to be brand new. There's going to be one floss keeper and it's going to have extra holes so that if you um, want to add colors or, you know, if it uses two skeins, you can use um, each hole for one skein. And then what Lori did, and this is going to be part of the book, is she selected 20 additional colors. And there's going to be um, different sec sections of them. And we're going to have a fact, we're going to have a floss pack of all 20 so that you could kind of play with your colors and decide what you want to pick. Two of the colors you'll need two skeins of, and one of the colors you only need one. But if you get this floss pack, you can play with it and kind of see which direction you want to go. And once we get one of the floss packs together, I'm going to show you what I mean. And in the book, she's giving you six additional options on top of these two with the combo of all of these flosses. Now, these flosses that you see include the warm and cool colors and then their other six combos except some of them are like duplicated. So 347 is in two of the combos. A yellow is in two of the combos. So this book is coming out next month. In the, in the front of it is the quilt book. So this is the block and it comes in three sizes and then there's pillows and then this cross stitch to match. I think the cross stitch is amazing. I think it's gonna sell just as good as flea market flowers. And you can see in the center of the cross stitch, there's a little floral block. Sometimes, at first you kind of miss it. So we are gonna do a sew along with this and it's gonna be in July. And um, the sample was stitched on cloud 25 count by Lori Holt. I will of course use Ada. And um, I haven't even picked my colors. So let me know if there's any questions on the Kaleidoscope um, book. This is the cover of the book. It's not gonna look like this though. It's gonna be spiral. This is just our working copy mm -hmm. all right uh i'll let questions roll in real quick and then we had a super chat at the beginning of the live stream from doc doc goose design denise for 50 dollars. and denise says happy wednesday from me and miss gracie thank you thank you so much and then we had a super chat from valeria power for 9.99 and she put a little pair that's dancing saying number one fan thank you thanks valeria Let's see, and then we have another super chat from Linda Baldwin for $3.99, and she put a little pair, and he's still for me right now, but I think he's giving us a thumbs up. Okay, awesome. Thank you Thank so you. Much. All right, and question from Sharon B. When you need to tear out stitches, what do you use? I use the needle that I'm using with I stitch, and sometimes what I will do is cut my, cut my thread down and then just pull the stitches out. I did do a demo of that in Stitchy Talk number one, which was the first Tuesday of January 2021. Mm -hmm. And from Val Earl, part of Jolly July? Question mark? Yes. It's not going to be Christmas, but I'm going to do it in July with Jolly July. Yes. And from Rosalind Parnell, will the book be available in the UK? Yes, it will. We can ship it from here to the UK. Mm -hmm. All right, and lots of people are saying they pre-ordered it. They're so excited. Yay! So yeah, definitely pre-order the book, and then when the book comes in, you'll be the first to get it. 
and it's um, gonna have a lot it's not gonna be just a cross stitch chart you know you're gonna have so many color options that's gonna make it amazing I wanted to let you know a big thank you from Kevin and I we have raised sixty six thousand eight hundred forty nine dollars for make-a-wish mm -hmm. and I'm gonna show you that chart real quick I'm going to show you the full chart now tomorrow tomorrow the um this is my piece i'm going to show you kind of what we're going to display tomorrow so with this it's a completely free pattern we're just asking for a donation to make a wish and so this is week three so that will be available on the jolly jabber blog which is the fat quarter shop blog tomorrow april 15th and then May 1st will be the next one. So yesterday, I had a lot of fun. I had extra time and I need to turn this around. I had extra time. So I did row three and it was super easy. It was like, it was so easy. It was the easiest row so far. It was only like an hour and 35, I guess an hour and 45 minutes, something like that. I did it at baseball. So um, it's really easy, and the reason it's easy is all the stars are the same exact um, stitch. So as you do one, you know, you kind of memorize it, and so this kind of becomes maybe like muscle memory. You just remember it. And then the centers, these two are the same, like the hourglass is this way, and then these two, it's rotated. And then these are the same, and the center's the same. So it's so much easier than the row above it because this was so many starts and stops so so excited because now i'm almost halfway done so make sure to check our blog tomorrow for that and then i just roll it up and when i roll it up i do try to put my needle over here where it's like the same direction as the roll because if i roll it and then have the needle over here Ooh. you're gonna uh prick yourself and that would be how I know that because I've done it and then I just have my thread in here just throw it in the bag so that's serendipity so make sure to check tomorrow and then another thing that I worked on this week was home sweet home so this is a brand new it's so Emma pattern and we're doing a stitch along and um, I can show you the dates So week two is the middle house and uh, next week we'll do week the third house and then the week after that we'll do the top and the bottom and I got a lot done on this this is actually the quickest stitch I've done in a while I don't know what it is about this pattern but I can do this so fast I've only spent like 10 or 11 hours on this and it's that's a lot of stitching for that amount of time and I even did the bottom I was at dance and so I had a lot of time so this week I'm just gonna do this and I actually might start my border at the top I try to when I do these stitch alongs I try to do like stitch ahead so the last week I have very little to do because I feel like when you get to the end of a project you're less motivated you know you've already put so much time into it and it's kind of like a bonus at the end to be done like to do it quick I guess so that's kind of fun and I have all my thread on my Lori Holt beekeeper and I didn't change any of the colors of the floss. I just changed um, the fabric to be pale gray gingham 14 count by Fabric Flare. And so Fabric Flare, with that company, what you get on the Ada is you get a screen print on one side, and then on the back, it's just plain white. So let me know if there's any questions on any of those two things that I worked on this week. I got a lot done this week. It was very productive and good. Um, the pokey little pineapple is the kaleidoscope cross stitch pattern in the quilt book. Yeah, it's in the quilt book. So the book is quilting and cross stitch. It's not just the quilt book, and it has pillows. And that's the only way you can get it. We're not selling it separate. It's um, part of the kaleidoscope design. And what size are the pillows? Um, I kind of know, but I don't want to say wrong. So. 12 inch, 18 inch, and 24 inch. And so the instructions are in there for 12, 18, and 24, but then she shows two colors of each. Mm -hmm. And our photography shows how if you put it on a bed, 
at home how you could mix and match the quilts and the pillows. It's very much a a book with a lot of photography and um, a lot of value for how you could decorate in your home. Marianne Lucas says, nice shirt, Kimberly. Oh, thanks. I forgot. So we have a brand new shirt. It launched last week. It's called Stitching with the Housewives. And it, I mean, obviously it's called that, but it's called the V-neck shirt. <laughs> um, V-neck shirt. And so um, the sizes that we have run all the way from small to 3X. And I will tell you, I was so nervous when they wanted a V-neck because I thought, oh, those don't look good on me. Aww. But it fits really good. Like yeah. it's very, um, I would say it runs... This is a large, mm -hmm. so it's not tight. And this is washed. Um, I did. I did want to say I did wash it before, um, but it looks great. I love it. Yeah. It's. Um, I'm gonna wear it more. I hadn't even tried it on until today, because <laughs> um, I haven't even had a second to to try it on. But yeah, we put them online, and of course, we will keep them in stock. And they go with their bags, um, their little pouch bags, and all their other stuff. So maybe next week we can do a summary of like all their um, stuff that's all very matchy-matchy. All the stitching with the housewife's gear. Yes. Is it soft? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the brand, the way that the brand was picked is Priscilla had bought a shirt at Disney World that she liked, and she liked the feel of it, so she just took the tag, sent a picture, and we just used that same brand mm. to stitch. To, and that's a great way if you're ever doing shirts. Just pick one you like. Mm -hmm. And question from Valeria Bauer. I have a pattern asking for a 35 count Weeks Dye Works tin roof. Is there something else I could use? Okay, so 36 count would be equivalent to 18 count Ada. Tin roof is kind of, I don't know what tin roof looks like. Gray. Tin, tin roof so is too. kind of gray. We're gonna kind of look, Denise is gonna look real quick. gray so that would be like a darker venetian gray is too dark venetian stone would be too dark um why don't you email denise at factquartershop.com and then she can kind of look mm -hmm. and give you more accurate answers so that i don't give you an incorrect answer and from susan luttrell are there more than one quilt pattern in the book is there one more, more than one quilt pattern in the book so the quilt pattern is um three sizes crib lap and queen and so it's the same exact quilt, the same layout, but three sizes. So you can, it's the same design. So it's three patterns, three sizes, but one design. So I'm gonna move on to the next thing I worked on because I got so much done this week. This is the Shine On Cross Stitch. from the Bonnie and Camille Quilt Bee book. And so this is the book. So this one also has a cross stitch. So this one, I got a lot done. We're on week six. So I'm gonna show you real quick the dates. So week six, you can see it's kind of like the third row and it's two of the blocks. And then week seven is right next to it. So this is what I completed this week right here is these two and then I cheated over here so that I would be done because <laughs> this is a lot of stitching I will say my feedback on 18 count is I don't love it and I think in the future even if I'm making something that I want to be smaller I think I'm going to stick with 14 and 16 count I feel like with 18 count the coverage is just so full that it's just not as pretty your stitches are just not as pretty and so that is important to me so i think in the future and if i had to redo this i would definitely go with 16 count i think 18 count is just too um the the, the thread just covers it just way too much and then what i'm gonna do after i do this is i'll probably cheat over here and then i'm gonna start doing some of the stuff down here because this one's pretty intense and i'm struggling with um doing it so because i'm struggling a little bit because the holes are so small and i can't go as fast so i think it would have had better results on 16 count um but this is going to look awesome in my sewing room and so in this bag i kind of just like roll it and then fold it. that's how i do it's horrible <laughs> but i mean it fits and this is a bag from uh christy at crosshatch quilts 
And then the next item I can move to is my monthly markings and all my kind of monthly stuff that I work on each month. And next month we're gonna do FKS Stitch Mania. So this one I'm gonna change a little bit and I'll show you kind of my plan on this one. So on this one, I have to tell you my thread changes. Mm -hmm. So on this one, I actually have all of this finished. So what I did on this one was on the left, oh, it's on my other paper, hold on. Oops, oopsie. On the left, I put scuppernog or scuppernog. Scuppernog? Okay. And then I left this the same, it's taffeta. And then this, I put hibiscus. And then what I did is this is my thread pack that Denise put together, and so I put notes right there. Mm -hmm. So you could see. So that is one change I made. Now what I have decided what I'm going to do is next month we're going to be doing FQS Stitch Mania, and I have a lot planned for next month. So what I'm going to do is by May 1st, I'm just going to do all three at one time so that mm -hmm. I'm not having to spread it out. So the next time you see this, I will have the top, this, and then this done just so that I don't have to show it three different times in May. I think it's looking really nice. Um, I was a little bit nervous about changing the umbrella, but I like it. Mm -hmm. It looks cute. Thanks. So this one I just keep rolled up. This is Venetian stone, so this definitely wouldn't be a match to that thread. And I kind of just keep everything in my gingham on the go bag. It will sit up if you just push the little bottom down so this actually will sit up I mean right now it's if I have to take the paper out but yeah it usually sits up and so it makes it easy for me to stitch mm -hmm. the next thing that I worked on was the sampler of the month which I'm really loving this I love everything about it so this is April and um, I did the middle so next week I'll show you the bottom and what I've been doing is I've been doing it in three sections I kept all the thread the same I'm using the thread that came in the club, which is beautiful beige 16 count. And then I'm doing all the back stitches and French knots at the end. And I wanted to show you um, May, if you were, May has already shipped, but I wanted to show you June because she showed this last week on her Instagram, which Country Cottage Needleworks. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited about June. Oh, it's so pretty. Yes, so the second it comes in, if you're in the club, it's going to ship right out to you, and I'm excited to, to make it. But yeah, this one has been a lot of fun. And then I had one finish. It's always nice to have a finish. So this is my trucking along. I'm so excited. So um, on this one... I'm totally done with the entire Trucking Along series, and let me find my little notes. Let's see. So what I did here is I removed the chickens and added a flower. There were chickens right here. I just left nothing there. Like I didn't, um, or actually I put little flowers there. And then here, some flowers and I the only thing I changed was that and then I added piggy that's my little doggy so he's uh, his body is in tea and biscuits his ears are black coffee and then I use the deep blue sea from the flag over here is his collar and if you want um, that little free cross stitch image of piggy it is available on Priscilla's blog which is Priscilla's 2000.blogspot.com mm -hmm. and so I'm get to send this to her today I'm so excited and um, there's the back if you want to see it. <laughs> so I did want to remind you that Calendar Crates is going to be her next uh, series, her and Chelsea's next series. And it's going to ship at the very beginning of May. We have two clubs available. And I'm going to show you the design in case you missed it last week. So there's going to be in each of them two designs. One is large and one is smaller. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with all of the smaller ones. Now, I did buy a frame on Amazon because I thought, oh, this frame is a really good price. 
And it came, and I thought it was white, and it's like white and gold. Oh. And so I was like, oh, that's not going to work. Oh. So I'm going to save that for it. So that's what I'm trying to do there. And I'm going to frame it. Um, and then um, I'll do the bigger piece also, just not right at first. But I love it. I think it's great. And that small one, that's going to take a little time. And when you get your club, if you sign up for the one with fabric, you should have enough to make both. Mm -hmm. And again, it starts in May. So let me know with all of that what questions you guys have. About Shine On from Con Cook, are you using two strands? I prefer one for 18 counts. Yeah, I'm using two strands of Cosmo. And from Nadine Merrick, how did Emma do a dance over the weekend? She was in nine? She was in nine dances. Yeah, she was in nine dances. Uh, yeah, she did good. Um, the group dances were all on Saturday. So there was eight group dances in like two and a half hours, which that's a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and for parents, it's much better because you get to see all of them. But it's also very overwhelming because you can't really get up and leave. So you have to sit there for two and a half hours with no break and all that music. And oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I just want to go see my daughter. That's it. Mm -hmm. And my friends. But I don't want to see like... 200 dances but they did really good um I don't go to the award shows because I really don't care like I know that sounds horrible but like I just want to see my daughter dance I'm not into the like did you beat who whatever none of that matters to me so I sat so like while they did awards I could just sit outside and stitch and then for her solo it was Sunday and they were running 50 minutes early we live so far from where this was like it was a madness to get there. I was so stressed out. And I actually was at Michael's trying to get the thread for the photo shoot for the Kaleidoscope book that I just showed you, all that floss that was on there. I was at Michael's trying to get that because we got it on Saturday. And obviously, I'm not going to drive all the way to work to get it. Well, then she's like, we got to go now. And I was like, oh, my gosh. I'm to like, run, get her, get there. I was like so afraid I was going to get a speeding ticket. And then we were trying to – I was trying to surprise her with Kevin being there, but she gets nervous because she's a teenager. So I was like, well, so I'd like go downstairs, get him, bring him upstairs, like hide him, hope that she wouldn't find him. And then Kevin wouldn't <laughs> let me sit in the front because he's like, I'm going to make her nervous. I was like, I always sit in the front. She is not nervous. She does not care where I sit. She does not look for you. She's not here. This is not about you. She's not looking for you in the audience. She's not going to see you. So he we had to sit in the back. I was like, this is not fun. I'm not inviting Kevin anymore. But no, she did great. She like got some got something to go to like Branson. I was like, okay, we're not going back to Branson. We don't need to go anywhere. We're just going to stay home. But I don't think she wants to go, but I don't know. I mean, whatever she wants to do, we'll do. But yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was fun. I mean, it's better in some ways. And it's, we had to stay for awards this time and the others we didn't. And so that kind of was, I don't care about the awards. I would rather just, whatever. She can, I mean, she should care. But I mean, like, I'm not going to be one of those moms who's like, what do you call it? Like a helicopter mom. I'm not like that. Like, this is all about her learning how to pack her bag, do her hair, get herself organized, learn her choreography, and be a responsible adult. Because when they get out of college, no more. I'm done. <laughs> okay, so I have some frame finishes. And this is also the sampler of the month that we've been talking about. So this is February. And this is March, and these are the frames by Family Tree Frame Company. And so we should have these back in stock sometime coming up. We sent a deposit, so we're hoping they come soon. I love how these look. Um, I can't wait to have all 12 of them done. I'm very excited about this. This is probably my favorite series that I've done in a while because I do so much, um, but this totally matches my house. Yeah, I think the February one's my favorite so far. Yeah, and the only thing I did different is I changed on the Y. I added an extra stitch right there. That's right. Mm -hmm. I think that's the only thing. And then the next one I'm not happy with. I don't oh. like my frame choice. This is just my type. So love the design, love everything, but I don't like how it looks. Um, the frame store didn't really have any gray options. And I'm not sure I like this. So I'm trying to decide if I should paint it with um, one of Lori's Chalky Chick paints or I don't know. I guess if I got Priscilla to do something where I could like attach some big old thing in the corner, it would take away from the frame. So maybe I'll 
get Priscilla to do that. I don't know. I, I really don't know what to do. I asked Kevin, and he's like, oh, I don't know. It's fine. We could do the pink chalky chicks paint. Yeah, that's what Lori said, actually. Lori said the pink would look good. Mm -hmm. I just am like, what would I do? I guess I would put masking tape here. Painter's yeah. tape uh -huh. and then have Denise paint it. But I mean, like, she's got other stuff to do besides paint my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> when I should have got it, when I should have got it fixed to begin with. Ooh. Now, here's Sew by Row. Now, I was really having a hard time picking the frame. And I'm going to show you the frame that we did for the cover. And it uses Lori's pink. Chalky Chicks paints, which is what we could use here. Mm -hmm. So see, that would look really good. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm not sure if it would fight with that red. And it might fight with that pink, I'm not sure. So this is the one, but since I, this one was stitched on 25 count Cloud Lugana. This was stitched on 14 count Ada, the frame didn't work. So. I really didn't know what to do. I was having one of those days, you know, everybody has one of those days and I was at the framer and I just really didn't know what to do. So I picked this and when I picked it up, I didn't love it, but when I put it on the wall, it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. So this doesn't look great on the wood table, but in my sewing room, it looks awesome. So I'm super loving this one. And this is the one I was nervous about at the store. Oh. And this one I was sure of when I got. And I was like, oh, this is like the best thing ever. And now I'm not sure about it. Mm -hmm. But it's, you know, just a cross stitch, just a frame. Mm -hmm. It can all be fixed. Mm -hmm. So I did want to tell you that on our blog on April 10th, we posted a big summary of everything I did for the first quarter of cross stitch. And what we're doing with that is we're going to use it kind of as a record and each quarter we're going to put everything and we're going to put all the detail, the fabric, the floss, the pattern, the designer, the everything. So that in five years, if I'm showing something, we have somewhere to go back to that's a record of all of it. So if you want to see everything that I did in the first quarter, um, definitely check out that blog and um, the blog is called Jolly Jabber and we're doing that as a resource um, kind of like what Priscilla does to be honest because we get so many questions just like Priscilla does and we need somewhere for you to be able to go to get the accurate information. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you a previous finish. This is Bloom Chalkful. This was hands-on design collaboration with Priscilla Blaine. And I stitched this, let's see, in May of 2020, so last year. And on this one, I did, um, I used the blue color that was here as the jar. And then I used the red part that was in the jar and put it here. So I just flip flop my colors right here. So if you look at the jar and the bow and the jar and the bow. And then the rest I left all the same, except let's see. No, I did. I, I reversed all of the red and all of the blue. So you can see I have red up here where she has blue. And that's what I love about Priscilla is if we change the colors, she doesn't get upset. Um, so that's awesome. <laughs> and then I wanted to kind of give you a tease. Our Prim Stitch series, we're getting to the end, and we're on number 10 with this kitty cat. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show it to you, but my tease is you have to go to Lori Holt's YouTube channel, which is just called Lori Holt. This Friday, she's stitching this as one big gigantic piece, and so she's going to show you on Friday hers. So then you can see my channel, her channel, we're best friends. Check out her channel. Mm-hmm. We do have some sale items today also. Speaking of Lori, we have her 10 count blackboard on sale. And then this one, this one's, this one is Happy 4th of July and I stitched that uh, two years ago as part of Mania. So that's, and it's a really cute uh, Tiny Modernist. So that's awesome. So let me know if there's any questions on any of that before I show you all the new stuff that have, has arrived. Mm -hmm. Um, someone had suggested uh, if Lori Holt had a color in her Chalky Chicks paint similar to the mailbox color on the Just My Type. Yeah, I'll have to ask her. Yeah. Off the top of my head, I can't remember, but yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Like more of an aqua. Yeah. And Flying Geese 50 says, can I stitch over two with Ada Cloth 14 count? 
Yes, that's what I do. So I use two strands. Wait. No. Over two. Can you switch over two horizontals? Yes. If you do, that'd be like seven count. So that would be like huge. And I would have, you'd have to use like six strands or four strands. But you could. And it would kind of give you that like um, textured look. Um, we got these really cute uh, oh. hoops. They're so cute. They're painted. And they're by DMC. But this is like, um, when we got them, they let us know that this is like the last batch of them. Oh. So if you want something like this to decorate with, they're super cute. There's three small pink, green, yellow, and then this is pink, green, peach. And um, I'm super sad though, because this is something that I think that would sell like kind of forever, but um, they kind of said, this is it. So I just wanted to show y'all because, and I wanted to be clear that this is gonna be kind of it, just so that you would know, but they're super cute. I mean, yeah. And then this is the brand new Priscilla and Chelsea that we loaded this morning. Ooh. I love it. And if you look at their picture on either their Etsy site or Fat Quarter Shop, the detail in the jar is awesome, the variegation. So you can tell, I'm not sure which one of them stitched it, but they did the variegate, they did the jar up and down and it really gives it the look of like a jar and it's got a lot of variegation, so I love it. Mm -hmm. And it would go really well with the calendar crates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to, I mean, you could, if you're in the calendar crates club, you could take a little corner and buy this pattern and do another corner in this fabric and don't even have to buy floss. You can just use the same colors. And then these are the brand new patterns from Priscilla and Chelsea that arrived last week. America the Beautiful and Liberty Farm. If you pre-ordered those, they have already shipped. And if you have not, now we have the paper versions. And we have this new pattern. I, it's called American Pride and I love it. It is the United States with a flag with um there's like flowers and like little prairie ladies right there I think it's a prairie lady I could be wrong maybe it's a plant but I love it it's awesome and then this has been very popular this is the basket of love it's the time for all season part four but the whole series has been very popular mm -hmm. And there are a lot of new Blackbird designs that they reprinted. So they're older designs and what they do is they take them out of print and then they decided these could go back in print. So basket of cherries, apple orchard, honey bee, and I will give a little tease. If you're a quilter, Ooh. there might be something coming. Ooh. I'll just say that. Oh my. So Fairy Garden and Tulip and Lily. And then I know this one is very popular and was very popular. And I know while it was out of print, people were looking for this chart. Mm -hmm. And you could do it, um, you know, you could just do this part. You could do it this bottom, the round part on the outside. You could do that as a banner, like straight across if you wanted. And then this is the booklet that they reprinted called Souvenirs of Summer. Ooh. And I did want to let you guys know that next Wednesday we're going to have um, a big announcement for a new mystery design. It's going to be part of our series that we do where we do the mystery PDF where you get a PDF um, once a week. And we're going to display that next Wednesday. But if you want to see it, check our What's New page on Monday morning. <gasps> Uh, is that going to be related to Mania? It's going to be FQS Stitch Mania. So yes, we're taking Mania and just making it our own. They're closing their Facebook group, so we're just calling it FQS Stitch Mania. Question from Rhonda Powers. Will can calendar crates be available in pattern only? Yes, it will. Mm -hmm. So guys, thanks for watching today. I hope you've been inspired by something that I've shown you. And if you have any ideas for me to do in the future, just put them in the comments, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye, everyone.